The first thing I like to do at the beginning of each week is to put the subjects in the top of my weekly planner. Next, I go through my daughter's planner and I write down the subjects that I want her to cover independently for that week. I then go through each workbook and choose the lessons that we're going to be covering that week and I write it both in her planner and in my planner so I make sure we're both on the same page when it comes to our lessons each day. Next I flip to the front of my planner where I have created my curriculum planner for the year and I just lay out what subjects and the themes that we're going to be covering for that week just to make sure that we're staying on track. I then go back and forth between my planner and my daughter's planner just to make sure that all of her subjects are aligning with what I have planned for the year. And then I go through each reading that we're going to be doing for the week, whether it's a read aloud, a family read aloud, or it's independent reading. And I write down those chapters and what she's going to be covering independently and also what we're going to cover as a family. I like to write down very specifically what pages in lessons that we're covering or chapters that we are reading. In past years, I've just written down math or whatever the book is, but not specifically the chapters or the pages. And we tend to follow a, more of a plan that when we write specific details down rather than when we kind of write the general idea of what we're gonna be covering that day. When I take those 20 minutes each Sunday to write down our lesson plans for the week, it also helps me to know what supplies that I need for the week. If there's a project we're gonna be completing or if there's a baking project we're gonna do or a snack that goes along with a theme, it really does help me to realize like, okay, this is what I need to restock on. This is what I make, need to make sure we have if I need to do a quick run the next day to make sure that we have those supplies for the week. It also helps me in my day so that I'm not looking for supplies and just generally making myself crazy. When I just have everything together and my thoughts are together and I've got everything down on paper, it's kind of a brain dump. Then I know where everything is, I know what supplies I need and I can just be prepared and I'm not wasting our days looking for supplies and also if I take that time as I have in the past to have to look for supplies then I have to refocus the kids as well so if I'm off looking for something then they, they go off topic as well so this just helps us all to stay focused in our homeschool days keep our days short and keep us having fun because I'm not frustrated looking for supplies I also like to write down all of our hands-on activities and I will link everything in the description box. So please like this video, follow along if you are new to my channel and you can also find us on Instagram as well as my website which I will link in the description below. Visit thebudgethomemaker.com for homesteading, homemaking, and homeschooling resources from our family to yours.